Hi, my name is Molly Gold and I'm the president and founder of Go Mom Inc. And this week I want to talk to you about how you can have a great Valentine's Day. It just might not actually happen on Valentine's Day itself. Why would I say that? Well, this year it falls on a Monday and we have high school baseball tryouts, daisies, and we have tennis clinic that night. Mm. Of course, it's a school night, so everybody have to go to bed on time, which means that if we were going to go out on a date, we'd have to completely bring in someone that could handle three activities in three different places, dinner, bedtime, and homework times three on a Monday. <laughs> Not going to happen. So instead of waiting till this weekend and joining the masses in a mad rush of things that I just want to make sure happen so everybody's covered versus actually feeling it, I want to give you a couple of suggestions about how you can have a great Valentine's Day, because after all, according to Baby Center, 72% of us would trade a good night's sleep for a wonderful romantic date night with our sweetheart. So how are you going to make that happen if you're as busy as me and every other mom on the block? Number one, be flexible. It doesn't have to happen actually on Valentine's Day. You could get together this weekend for a date night. You could go out next weekend for a date night. You can swap babysitting time with your best friends with your sister, with a cousin, whatever it takes so that you can make sure that the night that you go out to celebrate your sweetheart and honor the relationship that you have together, whether it's dinner and a movie, whatever it is, or if you're lucky enough to have an overnight and time away, time at the spa, make sure that you do that when it's free and clear of any reason for it not to happen as planned. The second thing after being flexible is to make sure that you think about the other person. Stop and think about why you're in it for the long haul. I'm almost 22 years in people. There's got to be something extra spectacular about that man that he would still be hanging with me. That's all i got to say about that. If you have all of your romantic notes and cards from when you were dating, get, out, get them out. Take a look at them. Read them together over a bottle of wine or a cup of coffee. Just make sure to take some time together to cherish what it is that got you here in the first place. And no, I just don't mean all those passionate nights, although certainly that had something to do with it, I'm sure. And finally, after you've been flexible about when and you've taken time to really think about honoring the relationship that you've built, just have fun. Make sure that whatever you do is without expectation or pretense. My husband knows that he knows that he knows that I don't care where they come from or how much they cost. Roses and a box of chocolate covered caramels. That classic act is everything my heart needs to have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Because our relationship is more than the gesture, right? But the little classic tradition that every single year for almost 22 of them, well, more than that, because we were dating, he's done at least those two things, have always made those two things be more than enough. Diamonds are great, I'm not going to lie, but every year can't be about the diamonds. Every decade can't even be about the diamonds. We get college coming. But regardless, what is it that's classic and true? And what will you do for that special person in your life? Finally, this isn't one of my top three things, but just keep in mind that everything you do, you model to your children. Relationship. Think about that. I'm raising boys that are fine young men that I want to be that boy that that girl's dad definitely wants to be the one that she goes on a date with. Why? Because he's a gentleman. Because he's kind. Because he's thoughtful, respectful, and appropriate. So I got to make sure, my husband and I together have to make sure that we take these opportunities to model to our children what a healthy, respectful, loving, admirable relationship is. And that is hard sometimes. I'm just saying. So make time for it. Get out your planner. Find the night. Be flexible. Honor the relationship. Go back in time to what made it great. Make sure to have fun. Establish that tradition if you haven't already and carry it forward. And remember, you're showing your children male and female alike. My daughter's learning from my husband exactly what that should be like. My sons are learning from me exactly what that should be like, back and forth. It's really important. Make sure to have fun. Happy Valentine's Day.